So in this video, we are going to add an effect to the red portal so that when our our monsters reaches the red portal, well, then they will uh, despawn and the red portal will make some kind of uh, opening or closing effect, right? So the video is going to be a little short, um, but let's get started here. Uh, first of all, we need to create the animation. So we can go to our animation folder and in there, there is something called portals and um, right now we have a blue idol and a red idol. We will have to create an animation for opening the red portal and then later we will do it for the blue one because I would like to have the full uh, spawning system working before I do it for the blue one. So go to sprites folder, go to portals and here we have opens the portal and there should be something called the red open and if you don't have this um, opening um, what's called opening animation for your game uh, then you can simply skip this video because it's only an um, a cosmetic effect right so click on the red portal here and make sure the sprite mode is set to multiple and set the pixel per unit to 300 like so and click apply and then we will need to split up these um, sprites into multiple frames so click Sprite Editor, Slice, Slice, and Slice, and Apply. And when you have done that, you will see that the red open portal has a lot of animation, or not a lot of frames now. So the next thing we have to do is to select all the frames here, and pull them up here to create an animation. And then I'm going to go to my Assets, Animations, Portals, and call this one red open there we go and then I'm going to delete this one from the scene if we go to animations and into portal now there is also a red open controller we don't need that we can simply um, delete it I think give me one sec I need to check if the red portal actually have a controller on it it should have I guess because the portal should already be animated there we go yeah so there's a red idle controller so we can simply go to animations portals and red open and delete it then we need to go to controllers portals and select the red idle and go to window and select the uh, animator and in here we'll need to add the new animation so we can right click create state empty and call it um, open uh, let's do it up here open so we need to be able to go from idle to open. So we need to create a transition from idle up to open by right clicking on um, on idle and clicking make transition and clicking on open and then right click on open, make transition and go back into idle here. Okay, so when that is done, we should actually um, set up some triggers. So click on the little parameter here and click on the little plus and select trigger and click uh, right open. So we need to set the trigger here. So remove exit time, remove fixed duration and duration here. And then we need to set up the condition for red going from idle to open and simply click the plus here and have open selected as condition. And it, it should just go back by itself. So just keep the exit time and everything. So it goes from open to idle by itself. Okay, um, when you have done that, we will have to um, set it up in the script because right now we have a portal script. So go to your scripts and select portal. From the portal script, we will have to access the animator of the portal. If we go back here, see that we will have to access this animator on the portal prefab. Um, let's see here prefabs and portals and red portal. We'll ha have to access this animator and then access the um, trigger here and then set it so that it switches from red idle to open but right now if we select open we actually forgot to set the motion for it right now it's none so if we play the game now and click the trigger then nothing is going to happen down here so we have to select open and select motion and then find red open which is there and then make sure the motion selected for the open state here is red open which means if we play the game 
um, you'll see that now it's just triggered from the get-go we shouldn't do that so we are running the game and a monster comes walking here do 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 and walks into the portal and then it should trigger this one so that it shows the opening um, animation so to do that we will have to write a simple script we have to access open make sure it's not triggered from the get-go so we have to make a private animator if I could hit correctly animator and called my animator and when you've created that we should say my animator equals get component animator just to have a reference to the actual animator sitting on the portal and then we are going to create a new function called public void open and say my animator dot set trigger open there we go um when that is done then we need to go to our monster because in our monster here we will have to trigger the actual animation uh, uh, the, the trigger on the uh, on the animator so down here we can say if we hit something here we check if it's the red portal right so we just collided with the red portal our monster walked through the level and got to the red portal then we can say other because in this case other is actually our red portal then we can say get component and write portal and because our portal script here has an open function on it that triggers the open animation we can say portal dot open and we can save this so now if we play the game we can try to let one of the monsters run through here then it should play the opening animation when this monster gets to uh, the portal and starts to despawn once it gets there and oh we have a null reference let's see what's wrong here blue monster blue controller okay i need to find out what's on trigger into 2d yes other get component portal so let's see does our red portal actually have the portal script on it so let's see portals red portal no so our red portal didn't have the portal script on it and we got a null reference because we tried to get the other that get component and this component doesn't exist, so this line of code will render null. So just go to your red portal prefab, add component, and write portal. So the script is attached to it. And let's try one more time. Play and next wave. And there we go. As you can see, it played the animation. Uh, the, the despawn animation perfectly so now it looks like the portal actually opens when our monsters get there and don't worry later we will also add it to the blue one but i would like to wait until we are actually spawning waves correctly so i think that's it for spawning monsters um in the next video we will start using um the actual um, what's called object pool so that we can reuse our monsters because we will have to get our towers working so they can shoot and when they're shooting they're making a whole lot of projectiles and it would be nice to make sure that those projectiles are recycled so that we don't create a lot of objects we don't need just to make it more um, a perf a performance uh, just to make the performance better uh, just from the get-go so thank you very much for watching and remember to like my facebook page follow me on twitter and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already and also remember that inscope studios is community founded so all your support is very important to me uh, you can support me in different ways you can support me on patreon which lots of people are doing right now that's awesome it makes it easier for me to make new content um, and also you can support me by getting one of my projects as a standalone product which is also awesome if you choose to do that so thank you very much for watching